Our objectives in this lesson are the following. Recall and identify the symbols used in formulating hypothesis. Formulate the appropriate null and alternative hypothesis concerning population proportion. And identify whether the given hypothesis test is a single-tailed or a two-tailed test. Let us recall the common phrases and notations used in hypothesis testing. You use equal sign when you encounter the words is equal to, is the same as, is exactly the same as, or has not changed from. You use not equal to if you encounter words such as is not equal to, is not the same as, is different from, and has changed from. We use less than symbol when we encounter words such as has decreased or decreased from, is less than, is lower than, is smaller than, or is below. And the complement of it is greater than, used when you encounter words such as has increased or increased to, is greater than, is higher than, is bigger than, or is above. And we also have less than or equal to if you encounter words such as is at most, is not more than, or is less than or equal to. And greater than or equal to if you encounter words such as is at least, is not less than, or is greater than or equal to. There are other phrases used, but these are the most common ones. Let us also recall the directional and non-directional test. We know that a directional test could be left-tailed or right-tailed, and a non-directional test is another term for two-tailed test. On this column are the possible ways on how you can express your null hypothesis, while on here is your alternative hypothesis. Remember that the type of test depends on your alternative hypothesis. If you use less than, then it is a left-tailed test. If you use greater than, it is a right-tailed test. And if you use not equal to, it is a two-tailed test. Let us have a quick activity. Your notation looks familiar. Choose and match the notation to its corresponding name. Null hypothesis is denoted by H sub 0, while alternative hypothesis is denoted by H sub 1. Sample standard deviation is denoted by a small letter S. Population standard deviation is denoted by sigma. Sample mean is denoted by X bar. Population mean is denoted by mu. How about the sample proportion? The symbol for sample proportion is this one. I'll tell you later how is it read. And last one for population proportion, we have the small letter P. In this lesson, we are going to talk about proportion. It is defined as a part in comparison to the whole. It may be expressed as fraction, decimal, or percentage. Another definition of proportion in mathematics is that when two ratios are equivalent. But we are going to use the first definition. Let's have an example. 75 out of 100 teachers are female. We can express this in fraction 75 over 100. We can express this in decimal 0 0.75 and in percentage 75%. The two proportion that we are going to talk about is the population proportion and sample proportion. But these two will be further discussed in our next lesson. We will focus our attention in formulating hypothesis for proportion. We are still going to follow the four-step process in stating hypothesis that I introduced in my lesson formulating null and alternative hypothesis for population mean. Step 1. Identify the parameter. Since our lesson is about population proportion, the parameter that we are going to identify is nonetheless proportion. Step 2. Identify the claim to be tested that may show up in null or alternative hypothesis. Take note of the keywords that we reviewed earlier to guide you whether to put it in null or alternative hypothesis. Step 3. Translate the claim into mathematical symbols or notations. Remember the corresponding mathematical symbols of the keywords that you will encounter. And step 4. Write first the null hypothesis followed by the alternative hypothesis. Here are the possible hypotheses depending on the type of test. 
P here is the population proportion, while P sub O is the hypothesized proportion. Take note that a hypothesis is a statement about the population. So the value of P sub O here must be about the population and not the sample. Let's have an activity. Where did I go wrong? Study the pair of hypotheses given. Color the box green if the pair of hypotheses is correct. And color the box red if incorrect. If incorrect, write the correct hypothesis on the space provided. The grade 11 coordinator believes that 90% of students prefer to go to an amusement park than to a museum on a field trip. She randomly selected 100 grade 11 students, and 88 said they would want to go to an amusement park. Recall that a proportion may be expressed as a fraction, decimal, or percentage. So, be vigilant with numbers expressed in any of those. That might be the proportion we are looking for. So, in here, null hypothesis, P is equal to 0 0.90. And that is from the 90% here. That is the population proportion. H sub 1, P is greater than 0 0.90. This uses greater than. Is there any word in our condition here that implies greater than to be used? There is none. So meaning this is incorrect. So what should be the correct alternative hypothesis? It should be H sub 1, P is not equal to 0 0.90. Since there is nothing mentioned here that it is greater than or less than the population proportion. Let's have another one. 75 11-year-old kids were asked if they have their own smartphone. 40 answered yes. Is this statistically different from the recent study that 53% of kids now have their own smartphone? 53% when converted into decimal, move the decimal point two places going to the left, 1, 2. So this is 0 0.53. For our null hypothesis, P is equal to 0 0.53. This is the only number expressed in percentage here. So this is the proportion we are looking for. And it is correct because it says here from the recent study. So that is the population proportion. Now, P is not equal to 0 0.53. Let's take a look. The key word here is different. It has no direction. Therefore, this is correct. We have nothing to write in this line here. Let's have one more. Suppose the national unemployment rate is 3.5%. In a survey of 450 people in Rizal province, 22 people are unemployed. Province of Rizal officials apply for state aid based on the claim that the local unemployment rate is higher than the national average. Test this claim at 0 0.05 significance level. It says here, suppose the national unemployment rate is 3.5%. So this is our population proportion. Convert this into decimal, 1, 2, this will be 0 0.035. For the null hypothesis, H sub 0, P is equal to 0 0.035. That is correct. How about for the alternative hypothesis, P is less than. Let us look for our keyword here. It says here, higher than. But this uses less than. So meaning this is incorrect. The correct answer should be H sub 1, P is greater than 0 0.035. Try this. Express the null and alternative hypothesis in words and symbols. We want to test the hypothesis that less than 60% of Rizal Province households have internet access. We collected a sample of 150 households and found out that 57 have access. So what will be our null hypothesis here? We have here 60%. In decimal, this is 1 to 0 0.60. H sub 0, P is equal to 0 0.60. How about the alternative hypothesis? Let us look for our keyword here. It says here, less than. So our alternative hypothesis would be H sub 1, P is less than 0 0.60. 
Now, let us express this in words. 60% of Rizal Province households have internet access. While this one, less than 60% of Rizal Province household have internet access. Another one. The guidance counselor surveyed the preferred track of incoming senior high school students. In the past, at least 70% took the academic track. TVL is becoming more popular. 300 students were surveyed, and 130 said they would take a strand from the TVL track. We have here in the past at least 70%. So this is our population proportion. But take note of the word at least here. In symbol, this is greater than or equal to. So that goes to our null hypothesis. So our null hypothesis would be H sub 0. P is greater than or equal to 0 0.70. Now how about our alternative hypothesis? Since null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis are mutually exclusive, meaning they are complement of one another, the opposite of greater than is less than. So our alternative hypothesis would be H sub 1, P is less than 0 0.70. In words, at least 70% of the students are on TVL track, and this one, less than 70% of the students are on TVL track. Let us do extra challenge. Look for the hypothesized proportion, box the keyword, construct the hypothesis, and identify the type of test. For the past 10 years, the average passing rate of the LET exam in general was approximately 30%. The result of LET is out, and you look for all of your classmates who took the exam. You saw 14 names out of 40 in the list. Is this significantly different from the population proportion? This will be our hypothesized proportion, equal to 30% or 0.30. For our null hypothesis, H sub 0, P is equal to the hypothesized proportion, which is 0.30. For the alternative hypothesis, let us look for a keyword in our situation here, and we have here different. So the correct symbol that we are going to use is not equal to. Since this is not equal to, therefore this is a two-tailed test. Another one, based on records, at most 28% of the graduating students graduated with honors. You suspect that it will be higher because of remote distance learning. After asking 100 randomly graduating students, 35 out of them have an average of 90 to 94. Based on record, so this will be our hypothesized proportion. P sub O is equal to 28% or 0.28. Before we construct our null hypothesis, take note that we have here at most. When we say at most, less than or equal to. That goes to our null hypothesis, so it would be P is less than or equal to 0 0.28. The complement of less than is greater than, so our alternative hypothesis is H sub 1, P is greater than 0 0.28. Since this uses less than, this is a one-tailed test, particularly a right-tailed test. For the summary, here are the things that we discussed in this lesson. Take time to understand this. Now, it is time to check your understanding. Pause this video for more time. Let us answer like what we did earlier. Let us look for the hypothesized proportion. Let us box the keyword, construct the hypothesis, and identify the type of test. You believe that it is more likely to born a boy than a girl. In a random sample of 9,685 births, 4,903 are male. Test the claim at 0 0.10 level of significance. Can you see any number here expressed as fraction, decimal, or percentage? None. 
But let us analyze. You believe that it is more likely to born a boy than a girl. You only have two choices, boy or girl. Therefore, the hypothesized proportion is 50%. P sub O is equal to 50% or 0 0.5. So our null hypothesis would be H sub 0, P is equal to 0 0.5. For alternative hypothesis, let us look for a keyword. It says here, more likely. So we are going to use greater than. And greater than means one tailed test, particularly a right tailed test. Gets? Our next lesson is identifying the appropriate test statistics involving population proportion.